Hello, welcome. Friend, in this video, we are going to learn how we can test APIs in Postman. So while testing the API, we can have different different parameters for that. We can pass, we can restrict the data coming from the response and all. So let's begin. So here you can see this is our REST API to get the API invoices details from Fusion SaaS application. So our method is get. So once I will click here on the send, it will pass the pass the request to this API and this API will return back data in response. So here you can see we got the data in 1963 millisecond. And you can see in that we have the API invoices details, right? So if I will make a copy of that and I will open new tab. So suppose here, oh, no, here you can see what data I have is that I have all the response coming from the, the this API, right? So this API return back the API invoices details. Here you can see we have all the data. This is the API invoice details items. This is the like array element of the API invoices here. But here you can see with the API invoices details, right? With our data, we have some extra links. Right, you can see this is the references link for specifying that the different different operation for the record. So here you can see this link is for the invoices, the change indicator. You can see the that particular link so that this invoice we can query with the help of invoice ID. You can see the second one shows that the, we can invoice query for the for the conocial and the child and all all these things apply prepayment all these things. But suppose if we don't require that kind of the like data for the link and all for the each and every invoices right this is not in use like we have not we are not going to use this link for in, uh, each and every invoice so what we can do is that while calling while sending the request to this api we can re restrict here so what re restrict here we can in header we have all the header configuration details we don't require to do any changes authorization in authorization we are giving to the fusion size application user user credentials now here if you will see if we don't require this data right this data means that this link right so here in the query parameter what we need to select is that we need to select only data and this is true it will make as true the query parameter will be only data and the values will be true so once we will submit what it will do it will return back only data it will not return back the link for the data if i will make a copy of that and here i i will paste so here you can see Sorry, let me make a suggestion. So here you can see we have the data for the invoice number this one 11 dm but for this invoice we don't have any link here you can see in previously we have link with each and every invoice here you can see this is the invoice details and after the invoice details here earlier we had image document number then we have link details right link link for each and every invoices here you can see the same link link for the another invoice. So once we added the attribute here, the parameter here, only data is true, it will restrict only data. It will not show the link. So here you can see this invoice number and this invoice, we don't have link. For the next invoice, we don't have link, right? So this is the first point you can restrict. We can restrict while getting the response from REST API. Another point is that, so here you can see in the REST, in REST, REST API, by default, it set the value, maximum values at 25. Here you can see. If you go to the last of the count, so count is 25 and has more is equals to true. It means that that API returned maximum 25 records at this time. Here you can see this is the count and has more defined that they have that API have more values. We can get more values there only. So instead of 25, if I will pass this count, right? This is a count attribute. So here if I will pass as count is equals to 100. So what it will do is that it will sorry instead of count here we have to pass that limit right this is the limit limit defined at how many records it will return so limit is 25 that's why it returned 25 so i will change this limit to 100 so what it will do it will return back 100 invoices details at once so once i will click here in the send here you can see this return back the data and if you will go to the last and check the count you can see count is 100 it means we have 100 records right now Right, if I will make a copy of that and if I will go here, you can see we have total last number 9264 and here you can see the last line is 2364. It means this invoices, this API return only 25 records because of the limit we provided as 25. 
even we don't provide it's by default is 25 if we want to limit the record based on the maximum values or minimum we can add by passing the limit parameters here right so here if you will see we have 100 invoices details here right total 100 invoices here you can see total 100 invoices details right now another thing is that so if you will see here in the last right if you will move to the last here you can see has more is equals to true it means that they return back 100 records but they have more records are available in the system right in the server so if we will like here you can see they return 100 records and has more is equals to true it means they have more some more records so instead of 100 if i will pass here 200 or 500 it will return back 500 records it means that they have that much of record available in the system that's why this api is returning the data so here if you will see i will copy and in new paste if i will paste in you can see here count is 500 it means we have total 500 records this api returns so we can restrict the number of record coming from the number of record coming from the api the coming from the rest api so instead of 500 if i will pass this 5 suppose so this this api will return back only 5 you know, record so here I, I will go and i will copy here you can see total invoices we have is written as 5 you can see count is equals to 5 as we provided the limit as 5 now you can see so here if i will show you that one the invoice id you can see let me be invoice number sorry invoice number control c f you can see this is the second invoice this is the first invoice number this is the second invoice number and if i will go this is the third this is the fourth and this is the fifth now it's come to one again if you will go for count you can see total five matches it means that whatever value we provided in the limit that number of records we will get and here has more defined that we have more values remain in the system so here you can see if this is the new another attribute that is offset offset defined that the how many record we have to skip while getting the data so here you can see we have offset as zero it means that it will get a record it will uh, get record from the first record only it will not skip any record as zero it means it will not it will record skip zero record while getting the data so instead of that offset is equals to zero if i will pass here you can see this is our first invoices as three double one dm this is our first invoices so while calling the api if i will pass that offset is equals to one what it will do it will skip the first record it will skip the first record available over sas returning from this data so here if i will submit you can see that the first invoices will be skipped and it will return total five data but first will be a skip so here you can see if i will make this format as session so here you can see the first invoices is 708 dm and here earlier we have first invoices as 311 and dm so what this api have done is that as we provided the here you can see as we provided the offset as one it means that it will skip first record so as you can see previously our first record was this one 1981131 dm this invoices so this invoice is a skip now if you will go to the second invoice this is our second invoice right 708d1 so you can see the second invoice in the previous list will be the first invoice here because we want to skip one record by providing the offset as one so here if you will go to the check first record that is 708d1 and this is the second record of 708 if you will go to the third record 600 dm 622 dm and you can see the second record here as 622 dm right so here suppose why we are using offset so suppose there are a limitation of the data size right if we will go and we'll find thousands of record that record will be in the much bigger on the size that's why we have offset facilities so based on that offset we can we, we can get the data in in uh, some chunk or in the some uh, some grouping so here we provided the limit as 5 it will return 5 data and offset 0 it means return by the it, it, 0 it means that it will return first 5 data is by skipping 0 record here if we provided limit as 5 and the offset is 1 it means that it will skip first record and it will get more next 5 records so here if you will see if i will pass as offset as 4 offset as 4 so what it will do it will skip first four record 
and it will record return next five records so you can see this is our first invoices after i think the offset four it means that this is the fifth invoices in the list in the data this is the fifth invoice as we skip the four invoice fourth invoices the first four invoices we skipped and this is our fifth invoice if you will see the six one double eight and the previously we got right we offset when it was zero you can see the fifth element was fifth invoice was the one zero six one double eight you can see one zero six one double eight so this is the use of offset by use of offset so suppose here in first even we can add a loop for that loop for getting the data suppose if you want to get the data in bulk of five records only right so here you can see the first time when we will call we will pass the offset as zero offset as zero so that we can get the first five record then next time when we will we will call the api next time we will pass the offset as five it means that it will skip first five record we we got earlier and it will return next five records you can see and if we will add that again 10 here 5 10 so what it will do it will skip first 10 record as we got the first 10 record in two chunk and if you will send we will get the next five record after the first 10 record escaping now if i will pass 15 here what it will do it will skip first 15 record as we got the first 15 record in three in the chunk of three and now if we'll go it will return back the records from the 16 to the next five records only so the same concept 0 5 10 15 12 20 25 we can add logic in our integration only for getting the data so thank you so much for watching in this video i have explained how we can do the testing of the rest api in postman if you require any other information you can make a comment of that and even i will create separate videos where i will use the same logic in oracle integration Thank you so much for watching.